Hey guys, figured somebody might be interested in uh, the 041X Progress. Did a little more work to them. Took a little piece out of the chamber. I may take more out of the chamber, depending upon if I find out if that's really holding me up. I took a little more metal out of this side of the bowl. There was a little extra metal there. And I had pretty high speeds on the roof, so I was able to do that. You can see I haven't touched the the valve job. The valve job is thin and not good. But I'm waiting my uh, my new honing tank so I can do guides the right way. So I'm going to save these until I get my uh, my new honing, honing tank. It's being built right now. Take a look where we are as far as flows. Okay, this is the latest column, and these are the 007s. You get an idea of how close they are to the 007s. The 007s are a better design to begin with. They're, they're taller ports, higher short side radius. Uh, the 041s come with a very low short side radius. It's And the port itself is not that high. The bowls are not that deep, so it's a relatively flat port. That doesn't mean it, it can't make great horsepower. I was reading Larry Moe did some, did some 041Xs with 194 valves. He's getting like 580 horsepower out of them, super stock stuff. I don't expect these to do that well, but... If if we put a decent sized roll of cam in at 250, I think by the time I get a decent valve job on here, they should be around 260, which is still going to be a pretty damn good head. And it has very good exhaust port. And I did do a little more research on them. They do come with larger intakes and exhausts. So I didn't do that much work to these. These are that big to begin with. And another thing I should mention is... My sonic checker is a great is a great tool, but let me see if I can show you how rough I had on these other ports. Let me see. I don't know if you can see in there. I had a really rough surface on that. Okay, when you have a really rough surface, not always super accurate. So what I wound up doing is I went over. And I, I gave a smoother texture to the bowls, and I was able to get a much more accurate uh, measurement of how thick they are in, in spots. So I'm actually relatively happy with the way these are, are coming together. I mean, do I think we still have a, a bowl that's thin? This one here is 084. I haven't worked on it yet, but... We'll worry about that when we get to it. OA4 isn't the end of the world. Okay. A look down at the port. I could move the wall over by the bolt hole quite a bit if I really wanted to. I don't know if I'm going to go and do that much. I could also widen the short side radius a little bit more. There is more metal there. I, I widened it a little bit. I made sure I had plenty of metal. I widened it a little bit. It made a difference. I got a little more meat in the middle of the curve, which is always good. 